hey and um, welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello um i first wanted to start out with saying thank you all so much for um leaving some comments i've been really enjoying seeing people from all over the place um a couple people from far far away and just anyone in general thank you for commenting it is always lovely to see that people are enjoying the content and just enjoying listening to me ramble um and I'm glad that it can help motivate someone or just give you a little bit of entertainment. What are you doing? Say hi. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Um, today is market day. Just ignore this. Um, I have to do something to my head. <clears throat> but anyways, prepping was insanity trying to get ready for this one. Um, I don't feel like I have enough, but I have what I have. Um, I think I have around $1,800 worth of stuff, which is a little less than I like to take. I like to take around $2,000, um, $2 and $2,500 worth of stuff. But I think it'll be fine. It is what it is. Um, my one, I have this one today, it's from 6 to 9, then the next one will be um, on the 18th, so I'll have to prep quickly again for that one. So, hopefully this one goes really well. Um, it is supposed to rain, so hopefully it doesn't rain like it did at the last one, and if it does rain, it just kind of does a light rain, is what I'm hoping for. Bring in the tent walls just in case. I also got battery powered lights just in case it's not bright enough out there. Um, I got a new stand for my cash box to go on so I don't have to try to stick it on the back of the table. I got a newer one. I had one of those small ones, but my cash was just all over the place. So I had to get one of the ones that have like individual clip spots for the cash. So that should help a lot. Keep everything organized. And yeah, we're, we're just going to see what happens. I got everything loaded in the car by myself surprisingly because my husband usually does that and he's a, he does a great job I was struggling um but the place is like 10 minutes from here from where we live so not that far that's great the only bad thing is that we have to transport things from the car to our spots we can't park at our spots because they're blocking off the road so that part's gonna kind of suck but it doesn't look like it's that far and I have the wagon so we might just have to make like probably like two or three trips to the car so we'll see how that goes um, and I'll make sure to check in periodically on how it goes it's from six and nine so it's only three hours but hopefully we do well all right so there's a train coming by I don't know if you can hear me very good but I'm gonna show the setup um, and you'll see what I mean by I don't have as much as I usually have, but I still have a decent amount. So the train has passed so we were supposed to be set up by 5 30 and i was set up at 5 30 on the dot so um it's technically from six to nine so we'll see what happens a few people have started kind of filtering in but not too many yet so we shall see all right so it is almost eight o'clock and we did pretty good out here um we're at 300 so not too bad um we've got i guess another hour so we will see but it's not not that bad i would say it's 10 minutes from my house and i think that the fee out here for the booth was like 50 bucks so we'll see what happens the rest of the last hour or so All right, 
right, so we're back home. Um, the market, um, for a three hour market, I don't think it was bad at all. I made about $344. And honestly, I'm okay with that because I have another event on the 18th, which means prepping will be less stressful because I still have some carryover stuff. So that won't be as bad. Um, but yeah, 344, three hours. I take it as a win. I take them all as a win. I enjoy everyone. And I got some cool stuff. Um, I got another tumbler because I can't help myself. And of course, another keychain because I have a keychain obsession. So I'll show those. So this is the tumbler I got and I'm obsessed with it. It says anxiety and has an on off switch and it's on. I'm just obsessed. I can never find tumblers that are kind of edgy. And then, of course, I had to get my keychain. Yeah, overall, it's pretty good. Next morning, and I was so tired last night that I just couldn't do any more video. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so the market, it was okay. Um, and lots of fun. Um, it was in my city where I live, so... Our city is pretty small, I would say. Um, overall, I think it was really good. I'm going to do it again for the back, back to school bash one that they're going to be doing in August. So for that one, I'm going to try to make a bunch more like 25 and under items because all the kids want stuff. They Their parents ain't finna pay for $40, $45 things. Um... Just one of those things where it's different per area by area that you go to. Sometimes you go to certain areas, somebody walk up, they're willing to spend a hundred dollars on something. Other areas like smaller towns like mine, you're not really gonna see many people that are just gonna walk up and spend fifty bucks willingly on a plushie. Hey baby. Um, what you got? So, you learn from doing your events. So now after, don't, so now, why don't you sit over here? For the next time, I know. Um, it also really sucked that I was in the, like, dustier part of the setup. It was, like, on a street that they blocked off. But my city, um, Calera is where I live, Calera, Alabama, and I'm pretty sure Calera means, um, shoot, I forgot. My husband just told me this. Quarry. <laughs> Calera means quarry. So there's a giant limestone quarry where we live. And I mean, it's huge. It's like you drive over it and it's this, this massive quarry. So anyways, all the dirt around here is like that dusty limestone dirt. So I lost two plushies to this, the sandy dirt because as soon as they hit it, it was not coming off. I was so upset. I took a baby wipe to it, tried to clean it off. I'm going to try to clean it off again today, but I think they just got our loss to the sand. Um... It's unfortunate, but I know for next time, um, I told my husband I might get like a really small, cheap, like area rug, um, area rug, whatever, um, to put under my like tables and stuff. That way if my plushies fall and hit the ground, then they're safe. Um, so I might look into that, maybe go to like Ollie's or something where I can just get a cheap one that's not ugly um just for that purpose so I might look into doing that but otherwise it was all right it was all right um I didn't really sell enough to go through and say like I sold this amount of this so it sold really well I didn't really have um that at this market but um Let's see, I think I sold one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, sixteen, twenty, 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 twenty,
25. I think I sold about 29 items at this market. And I think last night, don't do that. And I think I said last night it was about $344. Um, so not terrible. Um, I still, like I said, I count them all as wins. I have, I had a good time. Maya had a wonderful time. She got to get her face painted for the first time. She got it painted a tiger. It was so cute. Um, they had a little bouncy house there. So she got to go in the bounce house a few times. She was playing with some random kids, which is wild for my child because she's so shy. She does not play with other, ch other children. She is just now getting out of that stage with her being about to turn three next week. Um, so that was exciting. She had a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> I didn't sell a lot of keychains. I didn't sell a lot of keychains. Um, I sold one of a few. And let's see, I didn't sell that many mini mushies. Um, I sold a couple of the small chunky frogs. The I will say I took 10 of the mini tortoises, the turtles, and I sold seven of those. So they remain the top seller when I take those to markets. Um, and that is Tofu Turtle. And I believe that I linked the pattern for him in one of my previous videos. Um, but that is a pattern from Meg's Makes. And that still continues to be a top seller. Everyone loves those little turtles. I think it's the way that they sit. Can you stop? I think it's the way that they sit. And they're just adorable. So lots of those went. Um, I sold one of my ladybugs. Which always feels nice. Because it's one of the patterns that I made for myself. Stop it baby. Um, sold a floppy frog. Um... I sell at least one baby jellyfish at every market, so I think I'm going to start making a couple of those to take. Um, I sell them for about $19. I think I'm going to take a couple next time and hang them up because I always sell at least one to two at every market. So um, I sold one of those. Um, let's see... I sold one of my small medium bees, a chunky cat. Um, one of these one of one of these kids got um, a little ice cream cone. I don't know why they're so obsessed with those little ice cream cones, but he was so obsessed with it. So ice cream cone. Um, I sold a, one of the big chunky frogs. Um, I sold a small squid. Uh, the squids that I make are um, there's. There's one that is like a popular one that I see everywhere. I don't use that one. I use the one from Mom Stitch Eddie. It's kind of got that uh, skinnier body with the fin up top and then the legs. And I like that version. Um, so that one's by Mom Stitch Eddie. Um, and I sold my dinosaur, which is a sitting dinosaur. It is no so. Um, and that one is by All From Jade. Um, I don't know if I linked it or not, but all from Jade. If you type that in, you can find her on Etsy. And then um, I sold my chameleon. It was a tiny chameleon. I sold the two little chickens, and I sold an axolotl. So overall, like I said, the thing that I sold the most of would be the turtles. Um, and yeah, so the good thing is about it is I had a lot of leftover. So with that being said, I have one coming up on the 18th, which is another two weeks. And now I have less to have to make and stress over to try to get done. So that'll help out with the next prep and make it a little bit easier. Maya, what did I tell you about this? Make it a little bit easier. So that'll be easy to manage. Um, so yeah. That's the market wrap up. Um, I know this is a little bit of a shorter video. I didn't get um, through the week things or videos or anything like that. I have been having a little bit of a tough time with Mother's Day coming up. Um, mentally, it's just a little bit sad right now here. 
between my mom and my husband's mom um, not being here, it's a little rough. So I'm trying to stay on getting some content for you guys. Um, just kind of getting some updates and I thought about doing some other videos like maybe a few tutorials or videos on how I do things. Um, but I'm not sure because I have lots of people ask all the time if I tutor and I'm just not a very good teacher, um, is the only thing. And you know, it's one of those things where like when you've been doing something for so long, it's like hard to explain how to do it to someone else because you're like, just do it. <laughs> so I might try to do that, but we'll see. And if you watch to this point, thanks for hanging in. Um, if you feel like it, say hello in the comments. If you have anything you'd like to see, also leave that in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.